Hi everybody, I'm Christina from Pretty Distressed. I'm a furniture flipper and today I am bringing the fun back to furniture flipping. I wanna find some joy in painting again, so I'm gonna do a bright, bold color transfers gilding wax. It's gonna be completely off of my style, but we're gonna have so much fun and this furniture makeover starts right now. Today's video is sponsored by Dixie Bell Paint Company and I'm gonna be trying some of their products that you normally don't see on my channel. I'm gonna use a bright, beautiful emerald green to paint this desk and hopefully use some transfers. I'm a little scared, but I wanna go outside the box today, you guys, because I have been just feeling not joyful about painting furniture and I've talked to a lot of people in this industry and a lot of people that just do this for fun, some people do it for a side hustle, but we have just, I feel like we've lost our joy in painting. And so I wanna bring joy back to painting by pushing myself outside of the box and using some really fun stuff today. I'm just mixing up a little bit of white lightning in my bucket here with some hot water. Um, I got this piece for free. And when I get pieces for free, I like to play with them because there's no pressure. There's no pressure to make money off of it. Sometimes you guys, you just have to find your joy in painting not worry about views, not worry about going viral on Instagram, not worrying about everybody liking your piece and just do it for you. So that is this piece today and we're gonna start by cleaning it. I was hoping I wasn't gonna have to prime this, you guys, but here is a telltale sign that I'm gonna have to prime. I have finish coming off on my rags. Um, it's just going to give me a better finish if I prime. So I'm gonna continue cleaning this off with my clean water and then we will start priming. This top is damaged pretty bad. It has some water spots and some spots where the finish is failing. So I'm just gonna give the top a scuff sand to correct some of that before I add the primer. Since I was getting that bleed through, I need to block that in before I start painting so it doesn't seep through my paint. I've grabbed Boss in Clear. Since this is a dark desk and I'm painting with a dark color, I wanna keep this dark base, so that's why I'm using Clear. It's really easy to put on and it's gonna block in all those stains. This is a really rustic desk. It's from World Market, so it's not a fine piece of furniture. And since it's really rustic and has a lot of texture to it already, I'm gonna do a textured finish on it. So I'm not that worried about this coat of primer being super smooth. I'm just gonna get it on here so that it will do its job. I said world market. It's it's nice. It's pine or wood or something, but it's not the best constructed thing. And it has little prongs here that are holding the hardware in. So that's not worth my time taking out and trying to find something that's going to fit this. So I'm going to paint right over the hardware. Thank you. 
Boss is also available in white and gray if you're going for a completely opaque look. I wanted some of this wood to come through, so that's why I'm using the clear here. You wanna do two coats of this. It will dry in about two hours, and after your second coat, you wanna let it dry overnight so those stain blocking properties can really go to work. Now it's time to find my joy because I'm gonna be using a really fun color, this bright, beautiful emerald green. You guys know I'm a neutral Nelly, but when I'm in a funk about painting, I love to go outside of the box. And I'm also using Terra Paint today. You guys might have seen me use this recently um, on my first uh, flip that I did of the year, but I did a really neutral color. Um, this is a clay-based paint. It's really thick. Um, it's really good for blending because it'll reconstitute with water. I'm not going to do any blending today because I'm not getting too crazy. Um, but I do want a textured look because this is an old world piece and it's just going to fit with that. So I'm going to use a natural bristle brush. This is the best dang brush. I'm going to get this damp and then I'm just going to start painting my paint on. This paint is clay based and it's really, really thick. So I like to paint this on in every direction to get a bunch of that yummy texture. It's gonna work really well with this desk because the desk is chunky and not smooth. So getting this textured look is really gonna go with it. Okay, I'm already having so much fun. This color is so pretty. And if you're like me and you don't paint with color a lot, you guys need to pick up color and paint with it because I cannot stop smiling <laughs> while I'm putting this color on because it's so pretty. And since I'm doing the textured finish, you can see I'm just going in every direction. I'm not really concerned about what my brush strokes look like. That's just gonna give it a lot of movement and texture. So I'm doing all different crisscrosses and everything, just getting the paint on. To get into all the little corners, I ended up grabbing a premium chip brush that has the same natural bristles as the big brush that I'm working with, but it can get into these little tiny areas better. Because this paint is so thick, I find that it can take a little longer to dry when you are really caking it on and doing a textured look. I let this dry about four hours and then I came in and did my second coat and then I let it dry overnight before I come back in and seal it. My two coats of paint are completely dry, so I'm gonna seal everything to protect it. You have a couple of options when you're working with Terra. They have Terra Tough, they have a wax, and then they have a matte sealer, and I'm gonna be using the matte sealer today. Unlike some of the other paints that you see me work with, Terra does need to be sealed. If it gets wet at all, it'll reconstitute, which is awesome if you're blending. It makes it really blendable because when it's been sitting for a day, you can get it wet and it'll still kind of blend. But in terms of sealing, you definitely need to seal it to protect the finish. This goes on really easily. And since I have a textured finish, I'm not really worried about brush marks and stuff like that. It is just gonna absorb right into this paint and all the texture. It goes on really white like this, but it will dry down clear and flat.
you want to do two to three coats for the best protection. I find that this takes a little bit longer to dry than other paints just because it is so absorbent. So just make sure it is completely dry to the touch before you start that next coat. I had to wait about two and a half hours. While this is drying, I wanna add a pop of color to the drawers. I originally picked out this embroidered lotus transfer, but it's just not bright enough for this beautiful bright green. So I grabbed tropical leaves transfer instead. Um, I'm gonna put them on the side of the drawers and I think inside. So I've just laid them all out and I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna get these on. Okay, don't be mad at me, but I chickened out from putting the transfers all over the desk because I just think it's really beautiful as it is and I don't want to add too much stuff to it. But I do want to use the transfers, so I am going to cut this one piece up into four equal pieces and then put these on the sides of the drawers. If you're not familiar with transfers, they're really easy to use. They come with this protective backing that you peel off and then this is ready to adhere to your surface. If you paint, let your paint dry 24 hours, but this is just going on wood and I've already tested out that this is gonna stick. So I'm just gonna line this up and then use my burnishing tool to adhere it. Once you get the whole design burnished, you're just gonna peel it up from one side and it will release from that clear backing. If it's sticking at all, just put it back down and rub that area again. And once it's totally released from the design, I just take a clean lint-free cloth and make sure everything is adhered. And before I seal it, I like to take a really fine sandpaper and just go around the edges to remove that border. Now that I have this on and it's really adhered and I burnished the sides, I'm gonna take that same sealer that I used on the desk and I'm gonna seal these up. I know I'm playing it a little safe by putting my transfers on the inside of my drawers, but I do want to add just a little bit of pop to the front. So I'm going to gild the hardware with some gold gilding wax. I always let my gilding wax dry overnight and then I come back in with a lint-free cloth to buff it up and remove any excess. Just to remind you, here is the desk we started off with and here it is now. I 
I think I got my joy back, you guys. I had so much fun working with this bright, beautiful color. Um, I know it's not too crazy. I know some of you are like, why didn't you put transfers all over it and do more gilding wax? It's just not me. So I know when to stop, but I do think I pushed myself out of my comfort zone and I had so much fun doing it. And that was the whole purpose. So if you're not finding joy in your furniture flips right now, I just challenge you to do something different and try to find that joy. I know you can do it. I'll be back with another makeover soon and I will see you guys next time.